Now we have a planet. What we're going to do is we're going to actually copy this. I'm going to do Control J. And notice I still have my selection going. It really doesn't matter. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to do Control T for transform. And I'm going to rotate that a little bit and hit the Enter key to accept that change. And now I'm going to change, and this is where experimentation comes in, maybe to difference, I don't know. Then I'm going to come back, I'm going to turn off the one that I just made, go to the layer below, and I'm going to do image, and you could do adjustment layers with this if you want to, um, or you can do just straight adjustments. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to colorize it. I'll be kind of crazy with the colorizing. Say OK. And notice how I'm starting to get some bizarre effects because I've got a difference layer set up here. Um, let's see, maybe I want to go in here to this one and do image adjustments, hue and saturation, colorize and maybe I want to give this a different kind of color. Maybe I want to take it down, maybe I want to change the brightness. It's completely up to you what you want to do. See how as you go across the hues you get a very different look. So it's whatever kind of planet you want to create. Feel free to experiment with this as much or as little as you want. I just want you to know how to do it. And you'll see how it's very different. See how you can see the stars through if you turn the layer underneath off. So we're really taking advantage of these layer difference or layer blending modes of difference. I can do Control J again. Um, I could set the copy that I just made to something different. See how we're getting a completely different look each time. Now we need to create this so that it actually looks more like a planet. So I'm going to spherize this. And we did this in the spinach balls. But to do that again, hold down the control key. And I'm clicking on the bottom most of my planet layers. Then I'm going to go filter, distort, spherize. And I'm going to do it at 100%. See how automatically that makes that look much more like a planet. I'm going to go up in my layer and do it on the next one as well and I can do that with control F and there's that. If I wanted to I could even come up to the last one and do it again. Control H will hide your crawling ants so you can see how that looks. Control Z undoes it. Control Z does it again on the actual command for the, um, to, or the uh, filter. It doesn't undo the crawling ants being hidden. To undo the crawling ants being hidden to make them show again, Control H. It's a toggle. If you're finished with that, Control D to deselect, and there you have a fairly decent looking planet.